All right, y'all, what's going on? I, um, this lady, I'm not sure exactly what she does. She's a working mama for giving whatever the fuck. I, I'm going to watch this, this TikTok. Well, not this real. And then we'll, we'll take it from there. You'll see how retarded this shit is in a second. Today, I saw out in the wild a real life example of a person carrying the mental load for their partner. And let me set the stage. We're at the doctor's office. We're in the waiting room. There are parents, a mom and a dad, and their two children, probably like five and seven. And I know this family um, in passing in town, but I don't know them personally. So we're sitting there and we have these iPads and we have to fill out you know, information about our child, milestones, dental information, etc. And each parent respectively has one for one of the kids. And so they're filling them out separately. Yet the entire time, the dad is going, when was his last dentist appointment? And did he get fluoride when he was there? Okay. All right. And when did he last do this? All right, cool. And can he say 25 words or is it just, and like, that's not exactly what he said because this is a five-year-old, but you get what I mean. He's asking the mom every single question on this iPad. And this is what we're talking about when we're talking about parents being present, but not carrying their fair share of the mental load. He's physically there. He's at the doctor's appointment. So helpful. Two kids, two parents. It makes it a lot easier. Divide and conquer. Fantastic. He's physically showing up to help support his children. Yet mentally, he still expects her to know everything. Today. What the fuck? Dude, the, the, how do you even find this to complain about? This is very normal in marriages or relationships for one parent to be good at one thing and then the other parent to be good at something else. But to act as if you know, you said you don't even know them. You just know him passing. But somehow you know that she's carrying the mental load because he doesn't know the dental shit that has to be asked, answered. How do you know this last however many years that, that hypothetically, right? Let's say these last handful of years, he has been working the dog piss out of himself. Six, seventy hour, eighty work weeks. How do you how do you know that hasn't happened? But you get to use this as an example for some shit that you believe in by default. You get to just assume you know why he doesn't know that information. And the fucked up thing that, that I have about this is in a comment section, let's see if my, this is the question I asked. I said, do you know if they, if they both or just the father works? Sounds like this might be something the mother typically does, which isn't automatically a bad thing. Think about that. I make sure to say it isn't automatically a bad thing because I don't know. It could be. I don't know. I'm trying to get more information to to make a a, a reasonable assumption about the, the, the ordeal. But yet, people, as you will see, responded to this immediately going, Oh my God, no. This It doesn't matter. Yes, the fuck it does. We don't know these people. All we know is she said he asked a bunch of questions about fucking dentist shit. My fucking God. Yes, they both work. If she has a job outside the household or inside the household, it's still a job. And in fact, if she does, if she's inside the household, her job is 24-7 without a break. I'm not entirely certain what you're implying with wondering if they both worked. Oh, I know you just fucking idiot. Because you just want to go off and go and sprout this shit. I not once said that her job isn't 24-7. You don't even know that. You don't know if they split duties at night. You just hear what the story she told and go, oh my God, this guy doesn't do anything. He just goes to work, come home, opens the bearing, and kicks his feet up. That's all he fucking does. I'm so sick of... Listen, ladies, this definitely... It, it desensitizes people or I guess you can say men from hearing any problem that y'all say I have because if you get to literally really just go oh well, our job is 24 7 as if all, all of you really 
by the, if you're a stay at home mom, by default, your job is just 24 seven. No guy is, re, is rational or reasonable. We're all the bad guy. We're all, every last one of us is, fuck you, I'm sleep. You handle it. You go handle it, bitch. I'm sleeping. I'm getting my, my work sleep for tomorrow. Like, the fact that you can paint us all under that when it's convenient desensitizes us to any problem you actually have. Because at this point, it's so mind numbing every time this conversation even, re- something, re- a conversation that comes up that's even remotely close to the, the, the quote unquote nuclear family setup. Immediately, it's the woman works 24 7, and then the man, he works eight hours and does, doesn't do anything. Uh, well, damn, that, I guess it's just that simple then, huh? We don't, we're not going to count the commute that he might have because we don't know that it could vary. We don't know if he actually just works eight hours and then takes his ass home and then does nothing. We don't know. We don't know if they find it convenient for him to do the shopping on his way home. We don't know. Because we've been pretty much told that, hey, in a nuclear setup, the guy literally just works eight hours, works across the street, doesn't do a hard job, works under a fan. He kicks his feet back and has an hour and a half lunch break. We just, that's just the setup, right? Great. Not not not, not the dudes that, that worked at these factories, right? These hot-ass factories. The, the, that he he don't have the convenience of working behind the machine. No, he got, goes and does actual labor and shit for 10, 12 hours. No, he just works under a fan for eight hours. And he works across the street. Absolutely. And then this person is, is very rational. Caitlin is very rational. She's a mom and a wife. <clears throat> she said, if she works at home, then her literal job is to keep track of these things. It's like her asking him questions pertaining to his job and people assuming she should know all the answers already since he works there. I know the doctor appointment stuff, by, but my husband re, re Removers, I think it remembers certain milestones better than I do. I'm happy as I'm happy he has my back to answer the questions. I'm not sure of, and I'm there to answer questions. He may not know the answer to. People, is is that simple? We don't all. We just have this small screenshot of this couple if they even exist. We don't know if he has taught this five-year-old to do anything else or if he's taught. We just don't fucking know. But we get to go by this one thing and go, ah, piece of shit. Piece of shit. Nah. And was she complaining? This is the equivalent to a guy spoiling his wife and then a bunch of people going, oh, what a simp. Oh, he should never. But y'all get old nuts when we do that, right? But yet y'all get to automatically just assume the worst of a situation because a guy doesn't know the answer to on 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 a, on a dentist quiz. Great. And I forget what I said to her, but this is the only one, last one I'm gonna read over there. I'm gonna move on. She says, "Well, that's an interesting response. We can't." Eludicate tone from a response that leads me to wonder why the need to cuss when I merely answer the question and ask one of my own. You never answered the question. What the fuck? You didn't answer the question. Let's oh, wait a minute. Did she answer that question? Oh my, that's you count that as an answer? Alrighty. Alrighty. And I said she missed the point. Then she went off. Oh, she she mentioned her. Let's see what she said to her. I had to ask, do you know this creator personally? It seems as though you know the rules, responsibilities, and duties that she must have to her family is enough to detail that you can extrapolate those of your own experiences to equate hers. So could you clarify if you were aware of those details? <clears throat> Next. I commend women that make the choice to stay home in whatever capacity they can to do so. I think it's incredibly 
incredible experience. I can and I can recommend. I recommend that everybody that wants to do it and has the privilege to be able to do it, to be proud that they have the that title. And I thank you for sharing that information. I truly believe that women should be lifting one another up and not turn each other apart. I hope that this response can see that everybody has the right to live their life as an individual without imposing their own personal viewpoints on others. It makes us, it doesn't make us any better than one another. It just allows a place to respect each other at where we're at. If you feel comfortable in your family doing things at a certain way, you should continue to do so. But forcing others to live by your standards seems unreasonable. And she responded with, LOL, you missed the point entirely, and that's okay. And that's originally what I told her. Well, no, I told her, sorry, I told somebody else that. that I, my bad. And we'll get to, we'll come back to our response. I want to see a couple more that, that, that didn't respond to me. Uh, this person says, there are there are a lot of men in the comments saying things like, oh, but he's there. Maybe he wasn't at the last appointment. He was working, blah, blah. That is the whole point of every single mental love video. Most men are not making it a priority to know, learn these things about their kids, wife, home, etc. Okay. Again, it, it seems that the only people that have a problem with this are either one, in which you can make this a case, but pointing this out that I've seen one um, divorced women and or two literally everybody outside of the marriage that the woman is in. Seriously, everybody who isn't in the marriage complains about the woman for her that she never asked for. And this this is very interesting because this has been called mansplaining at times. Uh, this has been um, basically uh, branded as uh, thinking the woman is stupid. But somehow, when people view the woman a victim, even though she didn't, it's totally okay to mansplain for her or feminsplain for her. That is in fucking incredible. This is why women are better off single. Y'all are literally slaves to your husbands and children. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. I had to ask her, like, you got that from a dentist appointment, bro. Like, really? Seriously. It's incredible that attending to your children and when you're a stay-at-home wife, your husband is slavery how many times have we heard that but yet if this person doesn't share their money with you even if you decide to leave them that somehow isn't slavery holy shit my god <sighs> my husband knows things like when to change the air filters when it's time to change the oil on my car he takes the mental load of of working all day while i get to the mental load of working on our home and children. Yes, there are things that men should know, but expecting him to remember all the things is silly. It takes two brains. He remembers many things I never remember. Again, the idea, here's the thing. I don't think people really even think about how brains work, or in this case, men's brains work. Because somebody gave, told me, and I, I might come across it, I don't know. Um, but basically saying that, yeah, the guy, and that's how you know the guy isn't coming home. I think I actually read it already and, and asking all these things. So these people want the, the dad, husband to come home every day and go, okay, so give me the rundown on every possible thing that I probably need to know. And then just remember that shit the next day and then the next day and then the next day. The, like, stop being stupid. You work with the, the doctor visits. You're going to remember that shit. You deal with the paperwork with their 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 social security number, their you, again, you literally were there at the last visit. You are going to remember that stuff. 
saying it to me at the dinner table. You, I'm not going to remember the goddamn. He knows a hundred words. Come on, come the fuck on. Y'all are using this to say that therefore, if men don't know this stuff, that means they don't they don't deal with their kill their children. Do you know how how disrespectful that is? That y'all take this approach with people you don't fucking know. But if people who get disrespected by you like this were to smack the shit out of you, all of a sudden, immediately, they're in the wrong. When you are painting this person under a light like this, under this type of situation, you're doing this to their character. You're doing this to their image. You don't know him. But because of this moment, you get to, to, to paint him as a bad guy. A bad father. A bad husband. Bitch, who are you? Who the fuck are you? An oil change is a predictable need that goes on a schedule and happens every few months. That is not remote the same as managing the minute-to-minute cast of a busy household. I'm saying he takes that mental low in priority so I don't have to. There's hundreds of little things that he takes care of that I don't. You know, it's, it's, it's in crazy that we should listen to women until they disagree with you. Then immediately, we don't need to listen to them hosts, do we? Because they disagree with you. They don't, they're not making the point that you wanted to make so... They're just wrong, and they can be oh, they can be shut down because they're they're not agreeing with you, right? I want I want that ability, to just when you don't agree with me, oh, just shut the fuck up, idiot. You don't agree with me. This guy says, so who's carrying the physical load? Oh boy, oh boy. You know the income, the maintenance, the, when the toilet's spewing shit all over the bathroom. Both parents, cleaning the household, bathing children, feeding and grocery shopping, cleaning proper appropriately school, doctor, haircuts. Okay, now I know you full of shit. Now I know you full of shit. Because getting getting the kids haircuts does not defaultly fall on the mom. A lot of men like their spirit like a Saturday, like to either cut their child's hair themselves or take their kids to the barbershop. This is this is where it becomes bashing you're just spewing shit out no pun intended it's not one or the other it's both parents doing it if you make kids you have responsibility to do more than be an ATM wow wow and here you are complaining about being a little more than an incubator God damn, they just brought a lot. Okay, mom, wife, strong life says, I'm sure in similar situations, getting the oil change, I don't need it for the house repairs, insurance payments, other bills in our case, all aspects of owning a business, all things lawn mow related, repairs, sports kids, blah, blah, blah. I'd be the one asking all of those questions to him. We share the mental load. I see nothing wrong with each parent carrying different aspects of the mental load. I'm honestly getting tired and hearing of the term mental load, though I get the idea of it. You have to stop making it like males and females are created 100% equal and have the exact same. You get the point. Here's my, I, I say this, I, I'm going to continue to say this for as long as I keep seeing shit like this. People, it is a lot, it, it's, it's better and more efficient for one person to take well, this is probably about, you get the hypothetical. I'll, I'll continue to take one thing and do it over and over and over again, and just they'll be better, and more they'll be best and more efficient at it. Um, then for several people to split all of the duties and then try to do them all. I repeat, I think that shit is stupid. This idea that. Like when you watch the Kendra G show, oh, 
I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business owner. I fly across the country. I build this. I do that. I, and then it's like, he needs to do it too. Like, why the fuck do y'all want somebody else only to literally keep doing the exact same thing? That's stupid. As a single person, it's, I don't want to say exhausting because I have um, I have my weekend time off, but going getting up in the morning grabbing your shit getting and I don't even I don't even prepare lunch and I refuse to pre- prepare lunch at this point because doing that then getting to bed and doing laundry and going to work and stopping at the gym and running running errands and it's just when you doing all of that it gets hell of busy hell of tiring so if you have another person who simply just goes out and gets the check. Now, let's say let's say because you have kids, you still get up early in the morning, right? Now you get up, you get uh get the kids ready. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they're some households do they get the 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 husband ready and some households they don't. But let's just say go with you he just walks out the door, right? Get up, get the kids ready. Let's say they're not in school yet, right? So you handle whatever chores might be left over. Uh, you have breakfast, they have breakfast. You now, I guess maybe you have to run some errands or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I, fuck, I've never been a stay on person myself. I don't know this shit. Uh, I, I, I think actually, I actually think that proves my point. If you have that 8 to 12 hours to do at the house, you're going to be a lot more efficient at maintaining the house. So the idea of trying to get everybody to know and do the exact same shit, that is redundant as hell. But anything for a lifestyle... And this y'all are y'all people are just stupid to, to always want to go through this type of shit. No, I'm not about to come home and hey, g- give me a list of everything that you did that I need to know about the kids so I can ask the questions at the dentist. No, I'm pretty sure just by being there or interacting with you and interacting with the kids in a regular, normal, natural manner, I'll pick up on shit that I need to know. Damn. My trick is not to be available. Walk away. For some reason, they they figure it out when you're not there. Um, how the fuck does that? Re- how does he? How does that mean he's gonna know what to do at the dentist? Smart ass. It wasn't even funny. This this is how it is for me. School, doctors, sexual, it's all me. Then I work a full time job, a part time job, all the cleaning, laundry, go shopping. He's just there. He works a full-time job, mows along, and just there. I have talked to him and nothing. The mental load exhausts me. For real. Hmm. It's very interesting that you put that on the internet. Can we put our wives' problems on the internet and then be taken, okay? Because I see y'all do this shit all the time. Our dude doesn't do that. Dude doesn't do this. Dude doesn't do that. So if a woman can't cook, can a dude? She can't cook. Cookie's terrible. I have to eat this bullshit. I can't. Like, can he do that? Can a husband do that? It's crazy how many women in the comments are okay with making excuses for, for this scenario. If your husband doesn't know these things, he's not an involved parent. Period. Both my husband and I work, and he manages to take the kids, fill out paperwork just fine, even when I'm the, the one to do it most of the time due to a flexible work schedule. Okay, but it sounds like he does it sometimes, which means he's more likely to know. You just, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? You didn't debunk anything, man. You just said you you work as well, so sometimes it falls on him. That's fine. 
which is why you didn't respond to this, but why? Which is why I asked the question: Do you know if they both work? Meaning outside the home. It's very relevant. Answer the fucking question. Oh my god. You're just better at this stuff. Literally breaks me every time. He justifies me handling everything by myself. Let me ask y'all this question. And this is a detour real quick. But how do y'all get on these dating coaches or internet personalities when they tell dudes, yeah, don't date single moms? Because y'all do realize this also comes with that, even though you're not the dad. Like, you can't have posts like this. And then also criticize these dating coaches for telling dudes, don't don't get involved with children that aren't yours. Do you see how much of a fucking headache this is? I actually, the one time I was in a relationship with a woman who had a son. We, she gets me to go to, now granted, I, I, I did not know what to expect with a person who had a kid that wasn't mine. Because if, let that let that that comment sink in. I had no fucking clue, because I looked. That's how I looked at it too. Like that's her kid. Like that's her kid, right? So when she after she verbally beat me down, because I know how to use that language too, ladies. After she verbally beat me down, and made me go to the hospital against my will for her son's doctor's appointment. She's getting him out of a car, something like that. Blah, blah, blah. I like maybe I got I don't, something. And then she goes, see how much work I have to do if I have to do this by myself? And it halfway clicked in me like, wait a minute. I'm the fill-in dad. Motherfucker. Like, going, this scenario right now, literally, that the one with kids, this, this, is, this is you now. This is you now. Like, he's less responsible for it. And you are... You pick up that slack. And it's like, uh, for what? Like, that's when we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Oh, oh, oh. And this is a shout out to the woman under these, the women under these posts. She says, Really? I mean, that's kind of what a mom is supposed to know. My husband wouldn't know any of that info. But I didn't expect him to. I don't expect him to. It's my job. He works very hard, which gives me the blessing and privilege to be a stay-at-home mom. Why would I then burden him on top of everything else he does with knowing such insignificant details about a dentist appointment? Why don't we give these dads grace? Women can't have it both ways. We can't fight to have it the right, have the right to do whatever men can do, and then turn around and have a hissy fit when we don't feel like they are helping enough or whatever. I guarantee you, if this post was in reverse, this was a dad complaining about a, about a mom not having a shared mental love with his wife. People would be going postal about how sexist he is. And how dare he even think those things? It's ridiculous. Just be a mom and be proud of it. Who cares if you have to remember all the details? It's the job you signed the heck up for. Suck it up. If this was a at a company, a boss would laugh at laugh you out of the office if you started complaining about how your coworkers weren't sharing your mental load. It's pathetic. Seriously, someone of some of you should never have have. Oh, have never had kids. Mm, excuse me. This guy, Becca says, fathers who cannot answer a single question about their own children are shit fathers. You should know basic medical stuff about your own children. There are no guarantee that. So let's get this straight. Them being able to get to the dentist because the father paid the bill. Ah, that's just, that's just him being an ATM, which by the way, it's not a problem in family court. But nonetheless. Um, she responds, Your responses go to show how useless women 
are these days? Oh, shit. <laughs> Seriously. Embarrassed and ashamed of how of the sex I was born into. Have you ever thought of sharing your husband's mental load? Hmm. If he were to ask you important questions about what carries on his shoulders on a daily basis, would you be able to ask them? I highly doubt you could or that would even even care to. So until you and your spouse can show be perfect mental load equality, I will keep your voice down. She responds. In the event my husband get hit by a bus tomorrow and went into a coma, I know everything I would need to know to take over and how to do it. He knows the same for the stuff I do. That's because we are adults who respect each other and can communicate. If you can't say the same, you are setting your family up for failure. Ma'am, that's not very accurate at all. If, if you are a stay-at-home... Isn't the complaint that y'all have that if you're a stay-at-home mom, then immediately, if he leaves you, you'll be destitute? So how the fuck could you say if he gets hit by a bus, you'll be fine? Y'all y'all can have, like she said, y'all can have it both ways. Y'all gotta pick something. Do you even fucking have kids? Do you even have kids? Hold on. Yo, I think does she. I don't think she has. You know, I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt of saying she doesn't want people to see her kids. I'll leave it at that. I'll read this last one. Well, these last two. I, I like these last two. And then I'll go back up to the responses I got. I know I'm a half hour in. My bad. It's due to overall exposure. I know a lot about our daughter. My wife knows more. She's a schedule. But yet I have the next two generations plans for our family. Financial planning. Overall nutrition. Just because I don't remember the last dental appointment doesn't make me bad. It means I have a different area of responsibility. Why the fuck is that so hard? Why? Why? Yo, I don't even remember the last time I... Like, it was six months ago. Like, I'm on a routine now the last handful of years since I started going back. But even I don't remember the dates. People, this is... What the fuck? Like, why are you not allowed to be bad at this section if you do something else? Why? So each parent is expecting to know 100% of the, of the details of every aspect of the family situation. Or maybe if they were in a different situation, the husband might be the one that more specific knowledge. Dog, it's the same shit. You, you get what I mean. Let's see the response. Exactly. I have two boys heavily involved in athletics. I carry the academic load and take care of school, tests, appointments. My husband carries the sports mental load. She's on our side, so we'll move on. This. There are things about our kids. My husband takes a note. Yo, I like the equilibrium in this comment section. So let's go back up to where I was. Uh, this fucking guy, dude, he, he, he was hell bent on having the feminist dialogue of the century, dude. My God. He says the same shit she said, which is they both work regardless if it's paid labor outside the house. Unlaid paper inside the house, and I told him you missed the point trying to be a feminist. You like you like totally missed it. And by being a feminist, I mean he's trying to have that particular type of argument when all he did was ask a question. And he said didn't miss the point at all. People make babies and then end up fighting about who will care for them. Easy solution to avoid that is to not make babies, and I would never remain with a partner who isn't hundred percent an accountable adult. If my partner can't thrive and live without me, I'm not interested in being their partner. Now, see, I was so checked out already that I totally missed what he just said, what he said then. He's basically saying, yo, if we have kids and you don't know everything like they want this guy to know, I'm leaving. So you would break up the home that's functional 
doing okay, doing great, whatever, because they don't know the answers at the dentist. That that's fucking stupid. That shit, that is fucking stupid. Why would you do that? Can't like can't I can't even think of Oh, so okay. So if I if I tell my wife and mother for my children, our children, hey, get a part time job, even though shit's flowing well, but I feel you should you should carry a part of the load, right? Just you know, nah. And she says, but I don't want to. This is going just fine. I'm leaving. Like do you, this is stupid. People like this. People like this are incredibly, incredibly. Oh, shit. I didn't know it was gay. Damn it. Why? I just thought he was a male feminist. God damn it. See, now the, now the whole back and forth, it, it, it means a lot less to me now. I'm sitting here arguing with a dude that has to go buy a uterus to have kids about a two-parent household. God damn it. And this is very significant because obviously his viewpoint, it makes sense that it's very different from mine. I prefer a two-parent nuclear type of setup. He don't, he don't think that shit. His idea of reproduction is a, like basically like rent a center. Like a nine month rent a center is his idea of reproduction. And uh, that. So let's take a detour real quick. This is going to be another hour of video. Suck it up. This is like we've reached a point now to where men and women literally are just going like you have your ebony k williams where it's like jack off in the cup for me so i can have your sperm and then you got dudes like this who are going to ebony k williams saying hey i'd like to rent your uterus for like nine months after that you can have it back i'll pay you handsomely and it's like you know you could just fuck each other like that's like you could just fuck each other right and have the kid but we are so far into the bullshittest times of human that we're we're not even anywhere near like connect to each other on like ration a rational basis. We're just like so disgusted with other humans. We have these stupid ass conversations on the internet. Damn. It's no wonder that you automatically, like, he's disqualified. Of course he thinks his partner is supposed to think and know the exact same shit as he does. Shit, he's his partner. Like, look, 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 look at him and look at his partner. Look at him and look at his partner. How the fuck is that even any different? Man, oh man, oh man. I didn't, I just, I just, I didn't pay a bunch. I saw it was private. I just checked out of it. Holy shit. Um, well, fuck. I think he stopped responding at some point, if I'm not mistaken. I just started just fucking around with the responses. I wasn't even responding for real after a while. I just, I, just, I basically just went blah, 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 like the last handful of responses. Cause it, it, it was it was that aggravating. It was that aggravating. Um. Well, I guess I'll read this last one and then be be done with it. So this chick jumps jumps in and says, even if he works, presumably, if he comes home after work and talks about their day, he would know when the child went to the dentist. And if he spends his home time engaged with his children, he would know how they are developing. Dads should 1000% be also checking in with mom about 
how his kids are developing as part of a normal as part of normal conversations. And he should be doing the research to know where his children should be developing if there are concerns. He should be actively supporting that. You're full of shit, lady. You are full of shit. The part where you say he should be engaging with his kids and seeing how they're developing, but also asking the mom where they're developing, why can't he just gauge it for himself? And obviously, they're men, fathers and mothers. Our society doesn't like this, but fathers and mothers engage with their kids differently. Like, the fact that I'm sure all of you, when it's time to talk about custody, would say, but the mom's the more nurturing one. They should definitely go to her. You think that might be because she engages with them on that type of basis more regularly than the father? And in a lot of cases, he might be more of the disciplinary, dis, disciplinarian. He might He might come off as, like, so, like, I'm sure a lot of you know who Matt Walsh is, right? Like he was like he went back and forth with a, a trans YouTuber and they made fun of him for being like robotic with children where he's just like giving orders like, okay, I read book, you sit down. Like it gets like that with dad sometimes. Like the the the, the interaction is isn't supposed like you're two different sexes. You see you you experience the world differently. Why would your interaction be the exact same with both of them. You people, you just want a reason to either argue or leave. That's what I get from this. Because there's no way you think. You can't have the amount of complaints you have about men. And then think, why, do, why don't they interact with children the same way we do? Why the fuck are y'all different? What the hell? We learn differently. So of course we communicate differently. I I just I don't know how we keep doing this. I don't know burn it down. Burn earth down. Like I if an actual ever hits here, I'm gonna destroy the rocket they try to launch. Cause we need to just start over. Fuck. Damn. We we we've reached the epitome of stupidness, but be right, not positive. I'm out.